Jennifer Kennedy is a candidate for city council who has devoted her time to our community. Hi, I'm Sandy Jacobson, and today on Meet the Candidates, we're speaking to Jennifer Kennedy. Thanks and welcome, Jennifer. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about development. If you're elected, how would you decide which development agreements to support? What would your criteria be? Well, first and foremost, I would want to make sure that the agreement and the project um, equitably supports all segments of our diverse community. Uh, I would ensure that the project mitigates impacts for our residents and our residential neighborhoods, and that the project uh, lives up to the sustainability goals we've set here in Santa Monica. Uh, the projects need to be sustainable and protect our environment. Let's talk about the drought. Uh, how can the city help landlords who have buildings that are single metered and they need to encourage their tenants to, uh, since they don't pay for it, but to save water nonetheless? Well, the city has a really good uh, communication program in this regard, but of course it could be more robust. It's uh, important for residents to conserve water, and right now uh, there are you know, conservation targets uh, that are getting increased uh, as this drought continues. Uh, we also need to make sure that uh, businesses uh, do their fair share. And so everybody needs to conserve, but um, you know, the city can help uh, get information out using city TV, for example. The, there's a lot of talk about gridlock in Santa Monica, and some of this gridlock is forcing bicyclists, as they, they see it, to ride upon the sidewalks. Do you think that's all right as opposed to using the bike lanes? I think it's dangerous to uh, ride bikes on the sidewalk uh, if you're commuting or you're going too fast. Um, there are uh, bike lanes in Santa Monica and sharrows in our streets that direct bicyclists uh, about where they can ride uh, more safely. And this actually is part of a much broader picture. It helps protect ped pedestrians as well as the cyclists and automobile drivers. We have to uh, work more on improving circulation here in Santa Monica and that starts with making sure that everybody um, pays attention uh, to the way that they're uh, traveling throughout Santa Monica. So it's, that's a new word to me, shero. What does it mean exactly? Well, it's the symbol that you see in the road with a bicycle and a couple of arrows, and it basically tells uh, bicyclists and drivers that uh, cyclists can use the, the lane. They can ride in the middle of the lane. And throughout Santa Monica, where our speed limits are a little bit slower, uh, this is uh, safer, and it provides uh, more opportunities for better traffic management. So I'm glad you're talking about safety for pedestrians because this has become a big problem. Uh, we're seeing too many injuries and even deaths. What could be done to make crossing the streets, busy streets especially, easier and safer? Well, we have to make sure that our crosswalks are really visible. We have to make sure that, uh, and crosswalks that are uh, lit, that they have, um, you know, facilities that are working, that the, that the light system there is, is actually working. And it's also something else, something else that we can do is um, have better signage. Uh, as cyclists or pedestrians and, and drivers are getting around through Santa Monica, signage is really important. And so I think we can improve this and make that more robust. Well, we have a little more time. So tell me, when you go out speaking to voters, which I imagine is a big part of campaigning, which issues do you identify that matter the most to the voters? I think uh, voters in Santa Monica really care about issues that protect and preserve the unique character of Santa Monica, that protect our residential neighborhoods, and um, protect renters' rights. As a former rent control board member uh, and activist in our community in, on behalf of renters' rights, uh, and Santa Monica does have a really large renter community, I think it's really important to not just preserve our existing affordable housing, but also to make sure that people who live in Santa Monica and put down roots here in apartments um, get, to, uh, get to stay here and uh, aren't forced out by development pressure or, or market forces. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Remember to get out and vote on November 4th.